Right, so we've just done the filter clean. Uh, the cause of the flashing in here is a touch of, uh, well, a trace of nitrite in the water. So what's happened is we've got more fish on this system now, bigger fish, more demand on the filter. The filter's going to take a little while to catch up. So once we've discovered the um, the fish flashing, jumping, first thing was a scrape. The scrapes come back all clear. I suspected that there'd be a trace of nitrite in the water. Um, so we've done the test and it's about 0 0.5 milligrams. So to deal with this, we're looking at uh, a filter clean. We'll clean the filter every day now, just changing probably I would say about 10% of the water, 5 to 10% of the water, nothing too extreme, just nice and steady, keep everything's uh, keep everything ticking over nicely. One of the products that we do use, and we have used uh, for many years now we've been keeping for, is Envirex. Now Envirex is a biological pond cleaner. Um, the packaging used to say that it's got an enzyme and a bran in there that feeds the filter bacteria. Uh, it's a great product, it certainly puts a sparkle on your water. Uh, cases like this, we'll start adding it now to clay. Uh, basically you don't need a lot of it, but this will certainly help is, um, deal with that little nitrite spike. So, the other product that is done is called Detox, Pond Detox Formula. Now that, that's excellent, if you suspect that there's any pollution in the pond, uh, any styrene from the likes of uh, fiberglass uh, that hasn't cured or still going through the curing process, acid rain, um, ammonia, nitrite spikes, that is a fantastic product. Um, so we're going to use Envirex in here because we're in a controlled environment, we don't have to worry about any toxins coming into the pond from outside, uh, you know, from the outer environment. If uh, if we was on a new pond and uh, styrene we'd certainly use the detox so or after heavy rain in our own pond we'd probably turn to the, the detox so that's about as much environment as we need we'll pop that in there this is going to be awkward for me to film to show you so that is purely gone in there and put the lid on Let's get the water back into the easy pod. Now I'm putting that Envirex into that tub. Put it on so I don't get it everywhere. Quite simply to give it a mix. Perfect mixing bowl. Who needs a whisk? We'll put the pump back on. The pump's back on, UV's back on. And we're just simply going to pour that Envirex straight over the media. And that's it folks. You will get a slight bit of clouding in the water, not too much. But you need very little of the Envirex um, for it to be effective in your ponds. So I hope that that's helped. Uh, in light of uh, not having PSB in due to it not being made yet, then definitely have a have a think about using the Envirex to maintain your filter during the winter.